Hey guys, this is Leanne. Welcome to another Creative Week video. Apologies that this one's a little late, but it's how life goes. <laughs> I don't completely remember what I did this week, so we're going to find out together. Here, I'm just cutting up some scrapbooking sheets that I had gotten over the winter. They were summer themed, and I love summer, and because it was winter, they were on sale. So I was like, yeah... Um, so I decided to pull those out. I was having a really bad like creative block, just like a block day in general, and I saw this unplug card as I was cutting things up, and that actually kind of inspired me a little bit. So I threw some watercolor down for that to dry while I was finishing cutting things up, and then I just went through all of my infirmary drawers and tried to pull out things that just felt right in the moment. Um, I wasn't sure how I was feeling, but I could at least identify pieces that I felt would work um, <laughs> for how I was feeling, so I just made a big collage, I guess. <laughs> um, so I pulled out some photos I had printed, some vintage pieces, a playing card, of course, and that date card. Here I'm slipping that piece of acetate and this uh, vintage business card with the portrait on it into a Project Life pocket. It's one of those sticky ones. Um, I bought them not for Project Life but for my journal because I don't like to follow rules. So I'm just drawing a little border. Uh, I end up putting that pocket there at the top and I just put a label that says who are you. I really, really like this picture of the girl with the sleeves, so I threw her down. I used some, oh gosh, brain cramp, Faber-Castell in the cadmium yellow, and then I threw some golden thalo green blue shade on there as well, and I'm just playing around in collaging with all my favorite things, basically. <laughs> Um, so I did circle the date on that date card there, and here I'm just pulling out more things that I think could work. There's, uh, this photo that I have, and, uh, it reminds me of Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. They're, like, in the city, and they're flying in a bed, and it's nighttime. Um, so it kind of reminded me of that movie, in a way. So I put that on there. I don't know what that movie has relevance to anything, not really, but <laughs> anyway, um, I took that Just Eat It and put it there, and then I had this really cute meme that says when someone said just wine at 9am, and it's Lucille Ball's face, and I just love it, so <laughs> it was not 9am when I did this, and no, I did not have wine, but I liked, it felt right in the moment, so I put that down, and here I'm just looking for more things to put on there. Someone had sent me a bunch of awesome magazine clippings and some happy mail, so part of it was this chess board. So I tore a piece of that off and played around with that. I'm really into, like, ripped edges right now. I have no idea if I said that last week or not, but it's still a thing this week, so I'm going to say it again. Oh, and this is um, from the same happy mail. It's like... There's a bunch of pictures of ladies in weird sleeping positions, and I just felt like this woman's face perfectly captured my, like, meh mood at that moment, so I put that on there, too. Stuck down some sticker, a star sticker from Kyra, and added some sticker flakes from Beck. More Happy Mail bits, and then I just journaled it out. Um... I usually don't do pages all at once, and you guys know that, but this just, it just came together, and I felt so much better after doing this. Um, I don't think what I wrote had any significance to anything, but it got me out of my funk, and that was really all I cared about, was just getting, getting out of my funk. Okay, so here, you guys might remember, I used to have this TN journal with all these pockets of bits and pieces that I would use in my journaling, and I stopped using it for, like, a few months. I don't know why, 
Um, so I decided I completely stripped everything out of it um, and just started over from scratch with all the pockets and put in what I'm currently using. So I wanted to put it in that TN, but the string is just too tight um, and I didn't want to squish my folders. So because it's summer and I'm obsessed with summer, I have a lot of beach and summer themed stickers. So I put them all in that folder so I can use as many as I can before the season ends. Uh, then I added in one of the pockets all of the photos that I need to journal and then in another pocket I put all of um, my stickers that kind of work for everything like arrows and succulents and tiny word stickers and things like that. Here I have all these Coco Daisy sheets and I am just so over my thing right now. <laughs> Um, so I cut them apart because a lot of them are like half used. So I saved the, the stickers that I still wanted to use. Um, and I'm going to put the rest in Happy Mail. So here's a flip through of that. I have some Amy Tan stickers. Those are all my photos that I need to journal. These are all those stickers I was talking about. Just some inspirational photos my craft folder with all the summer stickers in it and then a bunch of stencils and so hopefully I will start using this more um, I believe I did put a watercolor palette in it after like a peerless watercolor palette but yeah so we'll see if I can get back into that so here comes the journal <laughs> Um, that's my stack of photos to journal. Oh, and I saw, that day I saw Heba from, um, my little journal, there we go, uh, do a packaging technique. I'd seen other people do it before and I hadn't tried it yet, but she inspired me to try it finally. So I just took a bunch of different paint and some Tim Holtz ink and smush some stuff down and I really like how that page came out. I think it looks really cool. So here I'm really bad at using paper. Like really bad at using paper. I have so much of it. So I decided to back these photos. Again going along with trying to use all of my summer themed stuff while it's actually summer. So I just backed it on that pineapple paper. And seeing if I want to back anything else, but I don't think that I do. And then I just started adding stickers. This photo um, of me with my book. Well, actually, I guess there's books in all of them. <laughs> but the one that you see on the top right there with me and my sunglasses and my book was on the summer solstice, which is the first official day of summer. Um, so I put the Summer Starts Now sticker on there. Drying, because I'm impatient. Um, so I wanted to put those there. And I tried, again, really hard, guys, to use this girl, not this girl, I'm the girl in the, the thing. <laughs> I'm so tired. Uh, <laughs> I tried really hard to use it as a tip-in again, but it's just not the right time yet. I know you guys really liked her, but I'll use her eventually, it just, it, not this week. I tried, though. You have to give me credit for that. I tried. So, yeah. You can see my, like, workspace slowly getting smaller and smaller. If only you could see the giant pile to my left of stuff. I have no idea. Oh, that's what I was doing. Um, I grabbed some vintage um, paper from the consumer guide and wanted to make a little back for that photo there. Again, I, I'm really into the roach paper thing, so I had to rip some of that and put it in there. And then I really wanted to use this Keep Cool sticker, so I just cut it apart. and stuck the end tab somewhere else. Uh, 
Now I'm just fiddling around with bits trying to fill up the page. Sticking a bunch of stickers on. And I was drinking a margarita, so I put the tequila thing down there. And just wrote Summer Stolstice on that thing right there. And I'm obsessed with this eye. I feel like I say that every video, but I love that eye up there, so I was putting it right there. Here I am trying to do a tip in again. <laughs> I don't I don't think I leave it there. No, I don't. So, um, I have like freestanding clothing racks or whatever um, in my room, and they keep breaking, and I keep duct ta taping them back together. And they've had a pretty strong lean going on for a while. And my dad, on Father's Day, out of all the days, made me this awesome clothing rack. Um, and I was just, I'm just so grateful. Like, my dad's a boss. Like, we don't always get along and see eye to eye, but he's an awesome dad. So, I totally had to document that because I was so excited. And there's a spot for all my boots on the bottom. And that's what's in the photo. In case you didn't see that. I'm obsessed with cowboy boots. So, here I am just taking some of the Tim Holtz clipping stickers. I really, really love them, and I love putting them on everything. So, I'm just finding some that fit the different things that I'm doing and putting them down. Here, um, I'm just searching for something to go on the page that I did the smushing technique on. I pulled out a ton of things that I have gotten in Happy Mail and stuff. Um, and I'm just, just trying to add more stuff. Story of my life, just adding more stuff, right? <laughs> so, I put down that record tag because that was a picture of me doing my once a week thing in the park where I listen to music and journal with my coffee. So, yep, this is me going through clippings, trying to figure out what to use. And I finally settled on that piece right there, which I've wanted to use for a very long time. So I feel like this is a theme in this journal this week, using things I keep meaning to use. And here's another thing. I decorated this piece of acetate and I've loved it like for so long and haven't found the right moment, but the colors on the top match the colors on the page perfectly. <laughs> Then I wanted to cover up that journaling. So I just cut the white border off it because that was just pissing me off. And Tiny attached it to the top. So that you could lift it up and still see the journaling, but I didn't have to show the journaling to the world. Not that it's that super personal, but yep. Adding more of those word clipping stickers. So if you guys really like these creative wake videos and you're new and you feel like you've missed some, I do have a playlist on my channel that has all of my creative wake videos in it. Um, so you can check that out if you would like. I will try to leave it linked in the description box below, but I'm really bad at that stuff. So if I didn't, just comment on the video and be like, hey, Leanne, where is my link? Um, but you can also just go to my channel and look at my playlist and you'll see it there. So, yep wanted to give you that public service announcement so here I'm just laying down a doily that Kyra gave me in some happy mail and putting some color on it because I wanted to put that photo over it but you don't see me do that because I'm too impatient so I was watching Kyra live um, I, I love her line streams. They are so much fun. And she was making some ATCs. If you don't know who Kyra is, I will leave her channel linked in the description box below. Um, she is just super inspiring. She does all kinds of mixed media. She shows you her happy mail. Um, she's just, she's awesome. She's so energetic and so inspiring. So I'll leave her linked below. 
But anyway, so while she was doing her live stream, I wanted to make some ATCs myself because I like, they're like my lost love. <laughs> I love doing them, but I always like forget about them. So here I am just putting some gesso down and doing some stenciling. When I make my ATCs, I like to get mixed media and messy with it. So, yep. But the bad part about it is that I'm so impatient and everything takes forever to dry. And so I don't do a lot of mixed media. Like, I'm even too impatient to let watercolor dry, guys. Like, can you imagine six layers of gesso and a bunch of paint? Yeah. This, this like, two-minute clip took me, like, two hours to film. But anyway, so I wanted to do like a night sky themed one. Um, so I'm just taking my watercolors. I did not just have that card and I am slapping down some color. I had absolutely no plan for any of the other cards just to experiment because my art life is winging it for the most part, pretty much. So I use a mixture of Tim Holtz sprays. Um, Lindsay Stamp Gang sprays and Dilution sprays. I The one on the bottom in the middle is this new Rusty color. It's called Rusty Hinge. It's not new, but it's new to me um, from Tim Holtz, and I'm super in love with it. I like, I love his antique bronze, but his Rusty Hinge is like, mm, new favorite. Put it on all the things. So, yeah. I really like how the top three came out. I really wish they had their vibrancy that they do when they're wet, but that's just how it is. So this one I decided to make into a constellation one. I had, okay, so I went to Target and I saw this constellation washi and really, really wanted it. And usually the Scotch brand ones are only $3, which is still outrageous. But I was like, okay, I like it enough to pay $3 for it. I got to the cash register and it was $6 and I was like, no take it back <laughs> I don't want it <laughs> so I decided to just make a constellation of my own and I'm a scorpion so I did the Scorpius constellation but anyway I'm just working on this other card here while the paint pen dries I added some stabilo pencil and I told Kyra that I would use my gelatas for shading and I totally forgot so I'm sorry Kyra I will do it eventually, or I'll just end up shipping all my gelatos to you or something. <laughs> um, so, I'm just trying to work out what I want to put on there. It takes me a little bit, but I find a new, uh, magazine clipping that I've been wanting to use for a really long time that I really love. Um, this girl right here. There, you, there she is. So, I cut her out and put her on that card. I didn't want to cover up too much of the card because I really like how that accidental background came together. It looks really cool. Um, so I just put her on there. And then I forgot that regular glue stick doesn't work very well on a gessoed background, so I had to re-glue her. And then I'm just taking my Uniball Signo in the white and in the gold and sprucing up that constellation there. And then sticking some stars on it. And then I decided it needed to be darkened up a little bit. So I used my Stabilo pencil again. I did an outline and then tried to blend the outline into the card itself. Just to make the whole thing a little bit darker. And I wrote Scorpio on it. Which I know isn't the name of the constellation. But it was what I was going for. So it's my ATC card. Get over it. Um, what am I doing? Oh, I love making like little poems that don't make sense to anyone but me <laughs> um, with tiny word stickers. So um, I put that on there. I can't really tell what it says on the camera, but if you would like to see what I put together for the poem, you can check out my Instagram feed, which is also linked in the description box below, and I posted a picture of it where you can read it there. And that's it this week, guys. Thank you so much for watching and sticking around. Don't forget to check out the playlist and Kyra's channel below. 
like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Take care.